Good morning. Today is Tuesday, the 24th, 24th of January, and it's the feast of St. Francis de Sales, a bishop and a doctor. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who for the salvation of souls willed that the bishop St. Francis de Sales became all things to all, graciously grant that following his example we may always display the gentleness of your charity in the service of our neighbour. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The readings for St. Francis. The first reading is Ephesians, chapter 3, 8 to 12. I, Paul, who am less than the least of all the saints, have been entrusted with this special grace, not only of proclaiming to the pagans the infinite treasure of Christ, but also explaining how the mystery is to be dispensed. Through all the ages this has been kept hidden in God, the creator of everything. Why? So that, the <coughs> so that the sovereignties and powers should learn only now, through the Church, how comprehensive God's wisdom really is, exactly according to the plan which he had from all eternity in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is why we are bold enough to approach God in complete confidence through our faith in him. The word of the Lord. In the Gospel of the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 9 to 17. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my own joy may be in you, and your joy be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants any more, because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father. You did not choose me, no, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last, and then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. These readings were chosen on the feast of St. Francis de Sales because St. Francis de Sales reflects some of what the readings are getting at. St. Francis de Sales was a, uh, was a theologian, a scholar, but above all a very insightful and very trustworthy leader in the church. He became Bishop of Geneva eventually and spent his life preaching against Calvinism in that district of Switzerland. And it was through both the force of his preaching but above all through the witness of his life and his love for people, that he converted back to following Catholicism, many of the people in that area. And it was this devotion to spreading the good news of the love of God that won people back to the Catholic tradition. Um, the first reading from Ephesians is very much about how his job was to, Paul's job was to proclaim to the pagans the infinite treasure of Christ, but how the mystery is to be dispensed. So St. Francis de Sales was talking about, it was all in the 16th century, this after the Reformation, how the forgiveness of God is always there, um, and that nobody is predetermined to go to hell or not to go to heaven, but that as we lead our lives looking for forgiveness for our faults day by day, we're always on a journey, and that journey God accepts as being the journey to him. The Gospel is that wonderful passage from uh, the long discourse of John, of Jesus at the Last Supper, where he talks about love and says, it's, that's the heart of my message to you, love one another. And then he talks about what he's doing, ties in with what we've been reading about in the, the letter to the Hebrews that we've been reading so much in the last week. He says, no greater love than this than a man should lay down his life for his friends. And 
and that's what Jesus sees himself doing. He's laying down his life for his friends. And Jesus goes on to say, do what I command, but don't do it as servants, because now I consider you friends. The difference between a servant and a friend is that a friend knows the back scene. He knows what's going on. And Jesus explains that's exactly what he's revealed to everybody, that this love that he's calling us to show reflects the love between him, his Father, and the Holy Spirit, and that we participate in the life of the Trinity. Other part to emphasize is that Jesus is showing he's true God and true man. And it is through his bodily preaching, through his bodily suffering and his bodily death on the cross that this is achieved. And so telling us that the spiritual life is not all spirit, it's the combination of body and soul, spirit and matter. And that we should recognize that our bodies which are failing, um, we know that eventually we will die because our bodies will stop, stop working, our heart will stop beating. That that's part of God's plan, revelation, that our bodies were temporary shells for us, um, but they were truly us, and that one day, the last day, there will be the resurrection of the body. Quite in what form, that's a mystery. But that body is not to be omitted. Uh, it's not something that is irrelevant. It's relevant. Jesus saved us through dying on the cross, but also rising again in a, a higher form of his body. And that's what he's offering us. We turn to our bidding prayers. The response is, Christ be mindful of your people. By shedding his blood for us, Christ gathered together a new people from every corner of the earth. Let us pray to him. Christ be mindful of your people. Christ our King and Redeemer, help us to know your power and your love. Christ be mindful of your people. Christ our hope and courage, sustain us throughout the day. Christ be mindful of your people. Christ our refuge and strength, Fight with us against our weakness. Christ, be mindful of your people. Christ, our joy and solace, stay with the poor and lonely. Christ, be mindful of your people. And you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Grant, Lord, that in the service of our fellow men we may always reflect your own gentleness and love, and so imitate St. Francis de Sales, whom you made all things to all men for the saving of souls. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God come down upon you and remain with you always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. All the best. Have a good day.